go. We're double rolling. Okay. Yay. Excited? I'm excited. I'm, I'm very excited. Excited as well. This is going to be fun. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. No. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm so excited to be here today with Josh Gillespie and he has got some wonderful music out there already and he's got a single coming out this week to his upcoming album and so I'm so excited to get to know you. Thank you yes. so much for being here. You're welcome. The opportunity to be here is just fantastic. So what? tell me exactly what day you're... you're... Sure, my uh, single Ghost Stories drops on Friday, September 15th. And uh, it is the first single from my upcoming album, also called Ghost Stories. Okay. Uh, the full title is Ghost Stories, Songs of Disorientation. I love it. I love it. I can't, I can't wait. I did, right before you got here, I was mm -hmm. checking out your music again online, and cool. I do, I'm really digging it. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, you're welcome. I, it, it's, it's nice to kind of be on the other side. Yeah. Uh, of, of the situation. Yes. Usually I'm the one doing the interviews. You have your Voices of... Indie. Uh, Voices of Indie, yes. yes. Definitely check that out, too. It's, it's really great. So. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's it's I, I kind of like what you're doing, so I, don't be surprised <laughs> if I happen to steal a few things. But, you know, yeah, no, I understand. I love that, because i got to say, I'm a little intimidated because you're a little more professional, <sighs> but worry. I love it. All right. Well, let's get into yes, this. Yes, Are you excited? Yes. So we're going to do these random questions, mm -hmm. and you're going to draw three, and you don't get a peek. All right. No you're peek. You're just going to draw three no and hand them to me. All right. All right. So. All right. One. Two. Three. I got a good feeling about it. All right. All right. Let's see where these, these take us. Your first question. <laughs> what would your talent be if you were running for 4-H Fair Queen? <laughs> no, okay. All right, what would my talent be? Well, I guess in this case it would have to be singing. Okay, um, okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I, uh, again, my background is in communication, so I could write a pretty good press release for, okay. you know, yeah. uh, for, for somebody. Um, talking is also mm -hmm. just, in general, something that I'm able to I do. Think, I think you would have my vote. I think All right, I sounds think good, yeah. That was a wonderful start. Yeah, okay. it's a very David Letterman move there. I appreciate it. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, what's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? Oh, that I would probably have to think about. Uh, the first thing that pops to mind actually is the seafood uh, club from Subway. Right. Um, oh my! I think that's I what it was called. I didn't even know that. Oh, this was back in the '90s at some point. I, I don't know oh what my. possessed me to get a a seafood club. Uh, I think I, I like shrimp. Okay. And so I think well, maybe it was because it had shrimp. But apparently there was also squid in it. And uh, Where yeah. did Subway even get I don't know. Squid? Especially a Subway in the middle of the Midwest, Indiana. Oh, no. And so I remember taking a bite out of that thing, and I thought I was chewing on rubber bands. Oh, no. That's, that's, oh, no. that's probably the weirdest thing that I've Yeah, I've you've got done. me beat. And There's that, nothing. It was gross. I don't think I finished that sandwich. No. I mean, I tried some frog legs once, but that, hey! I, that's nothing like, yeah. oh, my. Try seafood from Subway. Don't do it. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Are you ready for this? Sure. What is the answer to life, the universe, and everything? Oh. Music. Yeah, yeah. There it we go. Really is. It's uh, you know. That's it, perfect. It it sums up all the emotions that we can come up with. It really does. Mm -hmm. It fixes it. Well, it fixes everything. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I it's say it's, that. it's it's almost like you remember that old phrase, alcohol, the cause of and, and cure of everyone's problems. Yeah. Uh, that's I mean. It, 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 that's that's music. It really is. It really is. There's a great line from the movie slash book High Fidelity, uh, with the, the movie stars John Cusack. The yes, book yes. is by Nick Hornby, uh, and I've read the book and seen the movie. It is to quote the movie you know, or paraphrase the movie, one of my all time top five favorite movies and, and books. And uh, John Cusack has a line in that movie where he says, um, "Are are kids depressed because they listen to pop music, or is?" Uh, or are they, or is, or is pop music 
I forget the phrase. Yeah, no, I'm totally I, about it, but it's, it's, it's... I remember what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so basically, uh, it, it comes down to it. That's, yeah. that's, that, that is the beholder of, of all things that we can ever feel. I, I love that. I love the way you put that. Thank you. All right, this is a wonderful start. Yeah, all right. right. Let's I'm continue so... doing it. It's all right. I'm yeah, feeling lucky. This is like lucky. Vegas odds here. We're going to go low here. Let's see what happens. What do you do to relax? Oh. I can't. Yeah, um. I can't. I can't imagine you having time to relax. No. Uh, let's see. I, again, I'm, I'm going to sound like a broken record. Everything's coming back to music. Um, no, but, I but seriously, that. it's like playing, you know, playing guitar, just you know, trying to, to noodle on something. Uh, I find that very relaxing. Uh, when I don't get to do it, actually, I get very antsy. I, I totally get that, because with my yeah. photography and my writing, mm -hmm. I, I get that as well. But yeah, if you don't get to exercise that muscle, yeah. even if it is a form of relaxation for you, if you mm -hmm. don't get to exercise that muscle, it's like something's off. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. It's nice. Okay, a little less serious. All right, all right, all right. It's the zombie apocalypse. All right. And you can only save one of the following people. All right. A, Keanu Reeves. Oh, he's a treasure. B, Matthew McConaughey. Also a treasure. Or C, Snoop Dogg. This is not easy. What are you... Oh. oh. <laughs> uh, okay. We've, we've hit a screeching halt with these yeah, questions yeah. because I have to think about this one. Yeah, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to sway your answer. Because you don't want to... I mean, you don't... Shoot, John Wick could probably take care of himself. <laughs> um... Matthew McConaughey is just going to get away in his Lincoln. Uh, <laughs> he, he's going to run down those zombies like it won't nothing. Um, That's perfect. So, you don't need to worry about that. Yeah, so honestly, I think I'm keeping Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg? You know, I think I need to do a poll of my answers on this one because I, I'm pretty sure we're at like a 90% Snoop Dogg ratio, actually. I, I mean, he's, he's clearly the most fun. Yeah, yeah um, everybody is saving Snoop No disrespect. No! Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. They, they just have a way about them that we know that they can survive. Yeah, yeah, that they're going to be okay. And they'll understand. Yeah, yeah, no, they'll totally <laughs> understand. Again, I mean, like, they are all treasures in their own right. Yeah, in fact, yeah. I even read Matthew McConaughey's book, which I actually listened to it, the, the audio version of his book. Oh, I guess that's amazing. It is totally <laughs> amazing. Yes, you, yes. Even if you're not a fan of Matthew McConaughey. No, you would do anything that man says. It's, it's the, the way that he tells his yeah. own story is so captivating in, in that Matthew McConaughey. God, yeah. Like, it's, yeah. You're hooked. It is. It's like, I'm sorry, Mom, but if Matthew McConaughey told me to jump off a bridge, I would probably, jump off a bridge. Probably, probably. But I'm still saying the suit dog. Yeah, yeah. You got to. You got to. All right. Beer, wine, or tequila? Oh, um, I would probably actually choose beer in that sense. I'm, I'm actually less of a beer drinker, and I've become more of a bourbon drinker. Bourbon? Well, you're allowed to go outside of the box. Okay, but, but, but for the question, I'll say beer. For, okay. But, beer. but I'm very picky about my beer. Really? I, I, like, I hate, and this is gonna, I, I, hope, I hope this doesn't cost me fans, but I hate IPAs. Oh, okay. For the life of me, I cannot stand... An IPA, I think it tastes like drinking perfume you know what? or cologne. It might cost you fans, but I love you now. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I, I can't. Say, I got the beard. I play guitar naturally. I should. Yeah. Love an like, IPA. Like I actually thought you were gonna start telling me about IPAs. No, right? no, no. I hate them. <laughs> hate them. Right on. Right on. Definitely check out this man's work. <laughs> all right. We got time. We got time. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's let's go a little bit higher. Kind of mid high in the stack. Oh, I grabbed two. So that's well, that's what's, what's happening. That's what that's what's happening. Okay, let's see what we got. Cat or dog? Dog. Dog. Do you have a dog? I do. I do. I'm just severely allergic to cats. Oh. Like in, incredibly allergic right. to cats. Right. Well, that's okay. So cats are just right out. I mean, because dogs are great. They so. are. They're fantastic. Okay. How did you get into your craft? Oh, oh a legit, look, look at this, a legit question. Yeah. Well, not that any of these aren't legit, okay. but yeah, I mean, like, this is like a, yeah, this is like a, this is a straight up interview yeah. question. Um, I come from a musical family. Okay. And uh, my brother, he owns his own drum company. He's played drums. Really? 
Yes, my dad used to work for the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra. He was director oh, of development. Amazing. He was director of development, but um, he worked for the orchestra. And but growing up, he was my my grandfather was a traveling evangelist in the forties and fifties. Really? Yes. And so my dad and my uncle. There was a you know four people in the family. My dad, my uncle, my grandpa, and grandma. They would go around from town to town. Uh huh. And they would lead the worship. And so my dad would be on the piano. My uncle wow. would be on violin, I think. And then my grandpa and grandma would sing. Um, That's incredible. And so music has just always kind of seemed to run in the family. My cousin, he produced my first album. He's been a producer for 35 years. Oh, wow. Uh, and my, my, cousin, my other cousin has played trumpet for presidents. Oh, um, that's amazing. Yeah, so music runs in the family on both sides. I mean, yes. Yeah. It, it, uh, it, it, I, I really had no choice. It's like in your blood. It is in my blood. I didn't pick up guitar until I, after high school. Mm -hmm. uh, but Did you try to rebel against it? Were you like... Well, actually, yeah, well, so here's the thing. And this is, this, I don't know what caused me to think this way, but I remember, I think it was because I saw Hee Haw growing up. And I actually watched every oh, episode of Hee Haw. Yeah. And so my perception of the guitar... <laughs> was country western. Was only from Hee Haw. It was only from Hee Haw. Oh my. And, and as much as I enjoy Hee Haw, because it was a funny show, right. I could not stand the music. I, <laughs> I just couldn't. And so I, for the longest time, had this perception of, of and, and correlation in my mind yeah. uh, of guitar and country western. And so I rebelled against the guitar. Okay. And, I mean, I can see that, yeah. Which is funny. My, my brother's 10 years older than me. And so he, he did his best to raise me on, on Rush, with okay. Zeppelin, yeah. uh, but I didn't, I didn't not put together guitar and those bands. Right, yeah, no, I, I get it. It was what I saw on TV. From a different perspective, my, my older sister really listened to, she was into a lot of the 80s metal. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So when I saw guitar growing up, it was Steve Vai. Oh, like, wow, you know, that's, that's pretty amazing. So that's what, I mean, not that I can play or anything, no, no, but, you no, but know, still. I get that because, yeah, yeah. you know, I, and I had grown up on Hee Haw, but yeah, I I couldn't see we're making that. That's, girlish. it just, you know, seeing people pop out a horn with a guitar <laughs> strap around them, I, and I loved it, it's just like, you know, it. It, it was an indelible impression on me, <laughs> and... You know, it, it kind of reminds me of those Family Guy cutaways where Peter Griffin's like, ladies and gentlemen, Conway Twig. And <laughs> I always <laughs> sing in Yeehaw. Every single right? time. I'm fairly confident Yeehaw. most of those clips are, are Yeehaw. from Yeehaw. Yeah. They are. Yeah. Where, uh, where? Uh, two and a half. No, okay. Let's move on. All right. Um, what is your favorite thing to do or eat or buy when you treat yourself? Oh, well, uh, so my birthday is probably when I treat myself the most, and I but I get the thing I get the same thing every year because that's that's what I want, mm -hmm. and that is a pizza and a cheesecake. Mm. That and usually it has to have some caramel. Okay. Portion to either either it's a caramel cheesecake or it's somewhere on it, it but yes. the caramel has to be part of it as it should be. Yeah. So pizza and cheesecake are, are that's that's when I'm treating myself. Nice. When I feel like I've really earned it. <laughs> I feel, you earned it after this interview. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we got time for three okay, more. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. This one. This one. Right there. I'm not, I'm not taking any others. <laughs> no. No tag along. We're going to go from behind the deck. All right. Okay. Another serious one. All right, all right, bring it. Who are your biggest inspirations in life and your craft? Oh, um, well, in my craft, that's uh, probably a lot easier to answer. Um, my all-time favorite band is R.E.M. Oh. And, and I have... I love me some R.E.M. Yeah, and Michael Seid has what I describe as a delightfully melancholy voice. And, I love that. And and I have I not that I can sing like Michael Seid, but I try to uh, when I recorded my first album, I weaved in inspirational you know things. Whether it was lyrically, like I'm inspired by lyrics from Rush. Um, uh, I love 
the secret weapon in my mind in R.E.M. was Mike Mills, the uh, bass player, because mm -hmm. uh, he sang harmonies but also played keys. And okay. he, was just, he was just kind of an everything man. And I loved his bass lines uh, and a number of songs. And so I kind of pick and choose, or chose, I guess it's, there we go, um, modifying somehow inspirational bass lines that I, that I wrote for my first album. That, so at least two songs have things that are inspired by Mike Mills. That's so cool. Um, and uh, in life, oh, that's that, that, that's it's a little harder. That is a little, that's that's harder. Um, I may have to kind of go cheesy and you know kind of go with my dad. No, that's not, um, that's not cheesy. That's awesome. And you know, my my dad, like I said, he was very musical. Mm -hmm. Um, and, but he, his, his music of choice was jazz and classical. Oh, that's And so nice. the, the I rebellion, like yeah, but the rebellion of the kids of going into rock and roll. Oh, you yeah. Know, um, right, I feel that. Yeah, but still, you know, it's, uh, I don't know, he's, he's meant a lot to me in life. Um, he's, you know, he's in his 80s now and, uh, age is catching up with him, but, uh, he's, uh, both my parents. In, in many respects, have, have been kind of a life inspiration. I love that. Um, That's so cool. They've been, for the most part, supportive. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. I. I. Yeah. I love that. I can go on and on about family. Where sure. I'm only moving on because I'm like, okay, because sometimes I hate that though. No, That's I want. I want to know your family. That's so beautiful. <laughs> okay. This is a word association. All right. I'm going to say it. words at you, and you're just going to say the first thing real fast, and I'm going to go fast. Okay? All right. You All can right. say so pass. You can say screw you. You can say whatever. Let's do that. Okay. Music. Uh, Bob Dylan. Family. My wife. Fruit. Apple. Vegetable. Cucumber. Pot. <laughs> Love. Uh, oh, my wife. Sacrifice. My wife. Freedom. Ooh. Happy. Uh, music. Satisfaction. Vacation. Um, alone. Ketchup. Mustard. Comfort. Food. Career. Uh, music. Desire. Music. Courage. Ooh. Mmm. Pass. Ice cream. Caramel. Concert. Rush. Work. Music. Country. United States. Heartthrob. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> See, that last one, it's like, do you... You could you could refer back to a previous question, and is it Keanu Reeves or Matthew McConaughey? Uh, oh, right, or, right. Or am I, I mean, because that I think of, I mean, when you think of heartthrob, you automatically think guys, I think. But you no, know. I get that. Yeah, actually, because every time I ask the question, I think, well, I think Brad Pitt. No, I mean, that's not, a good question. That's a good answer. You know, I think Keanu Reeves too, and yeah. Matthew McConaughey now. Oh yeah, I, see, you know. I mean, no offense, new dog, uh, yeah, but I, I can't no, say he's a heartthrob. <laughs> I'm saving you in the zombie oh, apocalypse, no, but no, no, clearly it's no. not to repopulate the planet. <laughs> he could, though. Oh, he could. <laughs> okay. I don't doubt it. I don't last, doubt it. Your last question ever of the Photographic Melody interview. Mm -hmm. If you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? Okay, so here's where uh, we've mentioned this off camera. We're both, probably to the surprise of many people watching, introverts. Mm -hmm. Um, yes. and so sometimes the superpower of invisibility, uh, <laughs> yes. it sounds, I mean, we naturally feel that way in many regards, yes. um, but if we could actually implement it on purpose, mm -hmm. I think that, uh, you know, there are just times when I get away. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Cause I walk around events when I'm shooting them, like, don't see me. Yeah. I'm like that Homer Simpson backing into the Yes, bush. yes, yes. All you see, if you just see a camera floating around, ignore it. That's it. All right, all right. On that, that was perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, um, let everybody know where they can find you at online. Yes. Uh, I am most active actually on Instagram uh, and YouTube. Uh, you can follow me, uh, Josh Gillespie Music on Instagram and at Josh Gillespie on YouTube. And every Thursday at 12.30, I do what I call Let's Break for Lunch. And I play two songs and I take questions. And that, that airs, on, airs live on YouTube, Facebook, which is also Josh Gillespie Music. Um, yeah, so it airs live on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, even though that's the only thing that honestly goes on Twitter these days. I, 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 don't, I don't post a lot on Twitter. It's perfect. Well, yeah. look up Josh, all those places.
places. I'm going to put the links in the comments and stay tuned. We're going to do a live performance here in just a second. People who haven't been to Cuba. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm here today with Josh Gillespie and he's going to do a quick live performance for us. I'm so excited. Thank, Thank you, you so much again Thank for being you. here and take it away. All right. This is the uh, first single from my upcoming album uh, called Ghost Stories Songs of Disorientation. This is the title track. It is called Ghost Stories. It is coming out uh, Friday, September 15th. Settle 
Thank you. I'm actually going to skip ahead to a track. Yes, I, I don't remember my lyrics very easily. Um, but I'm going to skip ahead to a track that was actually the very first song that I ever released. This is off of my debut album called Make Something Happen Here. All this is streaming on Spotify or wherever you happen to stream music. This is a song called Maybe It's Time. Actually, be 
Uh, first time I've played it in a non-Let's Break for Lunch or production uh, in, the, in the studio. Uh, this is a song called King Incognito. It will eventually be the second uh, single that I'll be releasing from Ghost Stories, and so you guys get to hear it.